I ended up editing my video until pretty late last night, standard. Um, I was done editing and exporting my video at around 2 a.m. Um, at least that's the timing that I gave myself. Um, but exactly at around 2 a.m. I was like, I've got to go to bed. My video still had like five minutes left of exporting from my editing software. So like, I'll just upload it to YouTube tomorrow. And it is the morning and there's still five minutes left. It's been all night, five, five-ish hours. So I'm frustrated because I've had to like force quit, hard quit every portion of my computer to get it to just restart and stuff doing that. And I'm now attempting to re-export. We'll see if it works. It says 22 minutes, which is what it said last night. Event description. You only get one body, so treat it right. For game enthusiasts, time can just slip by at the table. And a simple walk to the bathroom may not be enough to keep our bodies feeling their best. This class will teach a combination of simple stretches and restorative yoga poses designed to battle the various strains and pains and cramps that can develop in extended sitting. I actually just made the decision just now to refund that ticket. I know it's a little mean um, since I bought one, but I didn't take it the opportunity away from everybody else because there was still tickets left anyway. But um, I fell on my shoulder last week and it's I can't actually lift my arm. Like, so this is like a normal arm and then this arm is like, so I think it's a bad time to do yoga on it. I'm, I'm just really click, quickly looking at events that start in 10 minutes that I might be interested in. So this is um, an event that's like a stream by Zoom, it's free. Uh, and they're just talking through a Cosmos game called The Crew, which, eh. Then we've got Live with our custom dice department by Q Workshop. It only is 30 minutes. And then we've got New Warhammer 40k Gaming and Hobby Interactive Streams. Live interactive game of 40k Hobby Classes. The longer you watch, the more points you gain and spend those points to interact with the game in many ways. Eh, I don't care enough about Warhammer for that. And then IPR. Cutting edge game design. Join Jason Walters. Cutting edge uh, with designers uh, for discussion of what's new and interesting in the world of role playing, which is very cool. Change of plans. Okay, I, I did shower. I put on a new shirt, it's got caps all over it, and then my pajamas, because who wears pants right now? Um, pajamas also have cats on them. Oh, my pajamas also have cats on them. Uh, I know, I just showered up, my hair is still in the bun. We're gonna get to that. Uh, that we use um, involves, uh, involves engraving, and then filling the engravings with uh, paint. Uh, and because of that, there is... Um, always uh, always uh, only one color for all the engravings on all the faces but there are a lot of color schemes to choose from so i'm sure that you will uh, find something that you like the millimeter uh, the six but here we have 25 so we can also customize bigger dice um can you custom dice in metal uh, right now, um, right now, most of custom dice that we make are made of GMMA for now. So it is, I don't know what time, 10, 10, ten. I have 45 minutes before the Double Click concert and uh, the, the joy of being able to kind of attend Gen Con from home is that um, it's, it's also kind of a curse. Um, it's that I get to do chores. Um, whilst actually attending Gen Con events. It's, it's a Double Clicks concert, which is awesome. Love the Double Clicks, check them out. Um, I will try to link like uh, my favorite videos or something I like of theirs um, online uh, in this video. But the joy is that I now get to water my garden um, in between events. Cool, I get to do that. And then while the Double Clicks concert is happening, hopefully I'll get to uh, do some water changes on my fish tanks because they're in dire need. 
Um, <laughs> but you know, the other, the other half of the problem is that I can't hundred percent disconnect and like treat this as a vacation. I could, but mentally it's more difficult because I'm still in my house, right? And with all of us working from home, it means that it's so much easier for me to just um, to just like check in on emails for work and do some chores at home rather than just being like, no, this is vacation, hundred percent. You can't do anything because you're out of state. Um, so it's both a curse and a blessing. But so I'm curious, what are you all um, like engaging in right now? What is your fandoms and hobbies that you're doing? Um, for me, uh, let's see, I am reading the Wheel of Time book series. I am at Crossroads of Twilight, so I only have like five-ish more books to go to the end of the series, but each book is like, I'm listening to the audiobook, each book is like 40 hours, <laughs> so it's a lot, it's a lot, and it's, it has taken me some time to get through it. I kind of go in waves of being interested in it and then, then not. Um, let's see, nerdy-wise... Um, Derek and I uh, are in a vampire game. We're playing, um, was it London by Night, I believe, is the like adventure thing. So that's really fun. Um, we got Stadia, so I've been playing some Destiny, but mostly um, Orcs Must Die, which is wonderful. Like, I love playing Orcs Must Die. If you like tower defense games, it's good, especially if you can play with somebody else. It's really fun. Um, I haven't watched that many movies or TV shows. We have, um, we have, or we can easily get Disney Plus, and I really would like to watch Hamilton and then all of the uh, Mandalorian stuff, but I haven't done that yet. And um, another book I'm looking forward to reading is Gideon the Ninth. I have that already. I'm just trying to finish Wheel of Time first. Board games are a little more difficult, but um. We're going to finish Pandemic Legacy Season 1 soon. I know. It, it's one of my favorite games in the world, and I haven't even finished Season 1. I have too. And did you all hear that Season 0 or whatever got announced? I'm so excited. It's like my favorite game. I really need to finish it. So we are going to finish it in a, in a, like this month in August. Well, this month is July, but you know what I mean. So I'm just curious. What are, what are you guys uh, engaging in nerd-wise right now? What games are you in? What games are you playing? Board games, card games, digital games, video games, books, movies, TV shows, all of that stuff. I'm very curious to see what all you guys are um, are into right now. some things you need to know. This is the Gen Con website. It's wonderful. Um, if you click up here, Gen Con Online, you'll be taken to the online version of the website. It's great. Um, if you scroll down, there's some really cool stuff here. The things really to pay attention to that I've explored so far, I bet you all of it is great. I just haven't. The looking glass is where your vendors are. Discord takes you to the Gen Con Discord, which you should totally join totally worth it this is the way to connect with Gen Con right now but also if you go up to the top click on your name not any of the little drop down buttons it takes you to your schedule and you can see everything that you are attending in like a timeline order great wonderful also you know the normal stuff get your badge and your events and your tickets over here I'm in uh, Firefly drinking songs with Mark Gunn later today and uh if you just look at this page, it's very confusing as to how to attend this event. What you have to do is click up here, messages. If you don't have a ticket for the event yet, if I was to just go to a random event, um, I don't have the messages option, right? But if I go back to the event that I do have, then I have um, the details of the event and also the messaging option, right? And if I scroll down, he tells me exactly, he 
He tells me exactly how to get to his event. Yeah. It looks like Renegade Games is doing like a cooking show. This is what I, oh my God, are they making cookies? <gasps> oh my God. So yeah, see, this is what I love about Gen Con. I mean, the thing that we're still lacking is how to just hang out, hang out with random strangers. But this is what Gen Con is about. Walking through the exhibit hall or the event hall and just being like, wait, is somebody like, doing gardening? Is somebody actually crocheting a giant dragon? You know, this, they've now shown me that they can capture that experience with Gen Con streaming. Like this just felt like I was walking through the hall and it's like, oh cool, somebody's just randomly baking cookies. Interesting. <laughs> I love it. I, lo I love this. Who would have thought that this was going to become like a domestic vlog <laughs> but me doing chores oh my pants look so nice um but here we are we're like if you didn't want gen con online gen con from home then this is this is the content you're here for right it big we can oh do i have to reload this i don't want to make the same stupid mistake i did yesterday where i didn't refresh my screen hopefully i don't need to see you aubrey i'm right here aubrey hi hi lizard oh my gosh we're at gen con we're at gen con there's dice everywhere oh my god <laughs> and i see the people people here oh, oh i love gosh. people the oh, people are everywhere. Gen Con so much. Thanks for being here, everyone. Welcome. Well, I can't see the chat this Hi, way. everybody. Thank you so much for coming to our Gen Con concert. We are really excited to be back here at My Gen favorite Con. double click yes, song is My Jam. Some very I don't know if they'll friends, play it, but I'd love that. Um, but we get into a big ballroom, <gasps> and we see on the stage this incredible person and an incredible DJ yes. <laughs> who is also a person. Yes. And it is time for the incredible art history that is nerdy. So everyone, please open your hearts. Oh my God. <laughs> so fucking cute. Oh my uh, yeah, yeah, God. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see you in a crowd. Bye. Hey everybody. Oh my God. That was, the, so that was you, that was you the crowd. Um, everybody here at Gen Con, I did see the dice everywhere. It was fantastic. It was a beautiful time here in Gen Con with you. So excited to be here. Thanks to the double clicks for having me oh because we got dice all over the place. Adorable. We're going to start this off with 20 cha for all of y'all beautiful d and <laughs> Oh my god, I love this. Yeah. Okay. okay. Oh. If you haven't known, it's Nerd D that's <laughs> N-A-R dash <laughs> Yeah. Oh yeah, girl, she's mad and simple. Hit my heart with a magic missile. I so bright went through my AC. Smile went right into my HP. I've been charming, it ain't no safe. You've been running through my mind all day. I'm trying to make my case, make you stay. Wanna make you say like ooh la la? All the motherfuckers that you hang around to be talking like blah blah blah. They ain't true to you, this ain't news to you. What I love the most, nah nah, never made you. They lack the mother road, don't care enough, but I fall in love. Let's put a gun, you're a trick, you're you're watching this online i need you to take a second to groove and dance with me all right you know what this is oh, this, this is work Watch me flip, watch me turn all this time into words. I'm a smash, you gon' learn. I'm the truth that I'm trapped in this room. Preparing the Krabby Patty. This is a boulder, bitch, is a rock. Filling the. Oh! Thank you so much. Shout out to Double Clicks and to Gen Con for having me. Shout out to Nerdy because that joint was sick. It was all bops. 
This is a song that is a flex. This is about feeling good about yourself. So I can't see the stream. But we could all, song, we could all use that. Nobody in the comments. Ooh. I'm also part of the NPC Collective, which was co founded by Mega Rand and Xavier Woods. Um, it's got Richard Branson, Samus, Sky Blue, Shipzilla, IQ, Creative Mind Frame, DD Slugger, a bunch of people. That's what I rock. Like. Yeah, long day, moments really easy in slow motion like the green screen exposures in a movie. Looking for that paycheck, hoping it'll do me cause I spread dollars like the gumbo gumbo is a Luffy. But you think it's goofy, but I'm steady daydreaming. Only spreadsheets, but your buddy stay steaming. Flows killer like when Android 18 sees human play these before trucks can say cities. Jump the ways with me, you don't wanna miss me growing. Everything that's coming from the brother's gonna go in. <laughs> This is it. I'm gonna do this, and if you wanna do this, I'm gonna find song. somebody who wants to do this. Cause I am a person, and you are a person. You should want what you want, long as nobody's hurting. You're not gonna tell me my songs are too right, and you're not gonna tell me my clothes are too tight. Cause I'm gonna love doing all my own stuff, and that love's gotta come from inside. This is my jam. This is my jam. This is my toast. This is my knife. And this is my jam. This is my jam. This is my jam. This is my song. This is my life. And this is my jam. I'd like to be eating breakfast with people that I like. With no one telling me the things they think I should do with my life. And like John Green tells us to imagine others complexly. I won't judge you cause what you like has nothing to do with me. I'd like to be eating breakfast with people that I like. With no one telling me the things they think I should do with my life. And like John Green tells us to imagine others others complexly i won't judge you because what you like has nothing to do with me this is my jam this is my toast this is my knife and this is my jam this is my jam this is my jam this is my song this is my life and this is my jam There's lots of crafts I'm gonna make, board games I'll play and stuff I'll bake, and stacks of books I thought I'd never read. I'm concerned about family and friends, but if this is how the world it ends, at least we're playing online D&D. And I've got cats, and I've got Netflix, and I've got games, and I've got pasta sauce, and I am gonna stay indoors for four to eight months or more. This is kind of cool. So I'm thinking that if you could uh, you come over here, you can actually do a two-player game of, uh, of, uh, of chess. So. Yeah. Yeah. And then if you that's go through that little doorway there, I think that should take us the one to the one. exhibit. Yeah. To another Pikachu. Oh, hold on. Uh, I need to see a birch button. Oh, I found a badge. We got to get our badge, our free badges. So, boop. There we go. We got our badges. And yeah. I think I got, there we go. It's What's these the redstone. Good luck kit? badge. Let's see. So anywhere you see a birch button, you found a badge. See if you can collect all nine. Uh, tip stand really close to the button to collect nice. your badge. Yeah. yeah. Oh, more giant Pikachus. I'm always a fan of more giant Pikachus. Yeah, bust out your wallet. It's time to do some shopping. Time to do some shopping. Oh, I, I remember you got to eat and stay hydrated while, uh, while of course, going around the con is safety. Safety yeah. first. Yeah. Otherwise, you'd get hangry and then no one's having any fun. Uh, okay, let's see. So, let's see. Oh, hey, look, there's a little, there's a person that can tell us about things. Hello. Hello, ma'am, sir. <laughs> can you tell us about, about blood rage, please? Soup sandwich, do you have a preference on the soup? Uh, no, you can surprise me. Surprise uh, soup. Uh, it's just a shame that we can't do our usual. Uh, I can't do my usual Gen Con lunch. What? Oh, what? Hang on. Was it delivery from? 
No, uh, oh, your usual, you mean j uh, Slim Jims? Yeah, I mean a, a, and can gushers? Of, a can of Coke, about five mini Slim Jims, and two packs of fruit snacks. So, whenever we open a can in this household, somebody thinks it's their snack time, and y'all literally just ate like a couple of hours ago. It's not for you, okay? Not your dinner time. No, no, all of them are coming over. No. Yeah, I know. Oh no, this is gonna be a fight. Okay, yeah, it was not. Okay, guys. Some of the same colors. Except for we're gonna reverse them. We're gonna uh, we're gonna really show some color pop. I need to, this to dry for that next step. I'm gonna drag that across with my brush. I, I use two brushes to paint with. I'm gonna drag that across so it stays very deep in the dark shadows, and then gets thinner as I pull it forward with a damp brush. a very intense blue. I'm just going to bring that forward and as it comes forward it loses pigment. and creates that depth and that shadow for the miniature. All while adding, because of the ink, it adds that intensity across everything. See and that's already defining so much. So we're on the Gen Con Online landing page. Yeah. Just click on Game Store. What is it? What's different? Why is this um, not the Looking Glass? You know what I mean? The Looking Glass is a map, a way to navigate around and look at different exhibitors and go to their websites and get details on them. The store is specifically a subset of some games that are new for Gen Con. I believe it's like released from like the the last week of June through now, basically. Um, so you can kind of just go here and do some of the so is this exclusive like, like, shopping that you would have otherwise done. So these are mostly new releases or exclusives? Yep. Uh, I mean, I don't think there's anything that's going to be exclusive to Gen Con, the convention, but this is where like the new releases of the show would be. Okay, so I was I bought the ticket for that illustrations event. I don't know if I showed you that, but it was going to be like upside down to illustration. I don't know. It's like a new game. We use Sayopoli has or VOP, whatever they want to call themselves. But I missed it because I thought 7 p.m. Indiana was 3 p.m. here and it's 2 p.m. here or whatever. I don't. Whatever. 5 p.m. I don't care. I'm just mad. <laughs> I'm just mad because I can't do math and I can't do time zones and everything is displayed in this local time that is not this state. By a giant eyeball repurposed as a hard hot air balloon, interfered in a soccer game between giant wasps and, and nothics, found a sad blob, or fought a sad blob, uh, watched a Frankensteinian man fight a tsunami with a unicorn possessed horde, sword, and has been bedeviled twice now by a seemingly sentient banana peel. The banana peel, by the way, I think is the antagonist of this entire operation. So, Besides all this, though, it's that lasts for about 24 hours. Like super long toenails, for yeah. example. Right. That he had to keep fighting off. <laughs> so, so Derek just told me uh, that so Gurr right. and this Zim are running the main stage stream, so between, uh, that's what we're watching. Uh, that is the voice of Gurr. The horse was and so uh, I'm not sure, but he's involved in the show too as well. I think he might yeah. be a writer. I thought you said Zim was here. Yeah, Invader Zim. Oh, Gurr from Invader Zim. I thought you said Zim was here. I don't think so. Uh, I think they, they may have changed their, their intro. Intro for what? Uh, the, they didn't have audio when they were first playing it. Ricky Simmons, that's a Gurr. Uh huh. So they just have fun with D&D. &D. Is this a meal. regular game that they're in? Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't realize. Do they live stream this? Yeah. What's their name? Oh. One Man Murder Race. One Man Murder Race. Wait, you're finally having your sandwich that I made like three hours ago? Yeah. It's a little I'm so hungry, Nelly. Oh, man. I'm starving. 
Well, it was too busy. Like, where's the food? Well, what I are you busy with? Not having Slim Jims. What are you busy with? Uh, people's questions, issues, problems, trying to figure out. Like, a lot of people are just confused about individual events and things like that. Are they confused about time zones? No. Yes, they are. I can tell by your face. That is your, like, yeah, look at that face. No, that's, that's the, you're confused about time zones. There have been a lot of people who have been confused about days of the week. Really? Yeah, we've had a couple of people be like, I can't get into my event. I can't get into my event. Can't, I need to get into my event. It's already started. It's closed. Like, what happened with my event? And we look it up and we're like, It hasn't started yet, it's, man. It's tomorrow, bro. You're good. Oh, no. Derek keeps whining about not having fruit snacks and Slim Jims. So guess what? They should be arriving by 10 p.m. And then he can't complain anymore. Well, he can. He does. But at least that problem is solved. The live show consists of four comedy warriors competing in improv challenges to avoid being punished. The punishments include things like getting shot with a paintball gun, putting hands in mouse traps, and eating sushi off a hairy guy. Now let me tell you how the card game works. Each round, there's one judge. They draw a challenge card and some suggestion cards. With over 60 suggestion cards, the challenges are different every time. Hello, and welcome, welcome, welcome to the Gen Con Batsu card game stream here. Jen, you are the first judge, all right? And the challenge for Melanie, Kyle, oh, Haley, and Dan will Let's be, ba-bam, award-worthy moment. Award worthy moment. Let me read the rules. Each player draws one thing card and one place card. They then take turns delivering an award worthy performance for 30 seconds of a deleted scene from a fictitious movie set in the place and involving the thing they drew. The judge decides which scene is the worst and deserves a batsu. Okay. Ba bam! Ba bam! Ba bam! Ba bam! All I'm right, still so watching it. I, the rhyme scheme, all right? I mean, it's fine to watch. I mean, this is really just... This is just whose line is it anyway, the game... Like, the card game with punishments. As a game for normal people, I don't know if it holds up. Maybe if you're a very social person who really likes improv. I, I think that is the people that this kind of game is for. But maybe also if you're mean... It feels like a punishment style game. I don't love it. There's games that like this this reminds me of some games that makes me want to play those games rather than this game. There is like um Fun Employed, I think is a really fun one. Monikers really reminds me of this. Um and uh I just think that those I don't know. Those games they're less acting and more game. This game is more be really entertaining, like really sell your personality. There's not much of a a game part here. And then there's also punishment. And I think the mix of those two things, especially being like a non-confrontational, non-extroverted, um, cooperative gamer, uh, this kind of hits the Venn diagram of things I don't love. <laughs> True story. <laughs> don't let anybody tell you different. All right? You're standing my way. She's shy. What's so shy? I don't say a word of love with that girl. Yes, she's shiny. Oh, oh, oh so shiny. Where is her? She. Or is she on your bed? Yeah, a sheet on your bed, or a paper of sheet, a paper of sheet. Mm -hmm. Wait, why am I? Why am I going for sheets now? I knew what, I you, forgot what the clue was. I knew what you meant. It was fine. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I feel, I feel okay with sheet. Um, I mean, you do layer hair. I don't know. I'm not as confident about that because, no. I mean, obviously, you can see from my luscious locks. Um... So, I'm um, sorry I didn't update in a while. It might seem kind of jarring, jarring to have this update right now, but it's been a hard day. And um, one of our cats just died, I guess. Um, you know, she seemed perfectly healthy and 
she's six years old and had her last couple of moments with her, which was nice. But it was a rough way to end, kind of a really stressful day. And um, I'm going to keep making these videos throughout this Gen Con just because I think I need something to focus on. Um, for the next few days and just kind of keep me going and get, get through this weekend. So just be kind to me and patient. And if I'm not my normal self, you know why. I just didn't think it, <laughs> it would probably be a little weird if you saw me being kind of weird this weekend without any context. So I'm... Um, We said goodbye to Mr. Biscuits, and she was a beautiful, lovely cat, and uh, part of her family, and we're going to miss her a lot, and um, I'm very lucky to have a huge Gen Con family like you guys around to help me get through this, so <sighs> see you all tomorrow, and good night.